With this video, I'm going to cover the entire lesson of sequences dealing with real life scenarios. We're going to cover uh, during the course. It'll be a little bit more of a lengthy one, but that way, in case you missed it, you just want a nice refresher. It's a good video for that. Um, we're going to cover both arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences, all with a real life application. You need to know how to work with sequences before uh, watching this video. If you need to, go back in. I've got one specific, one entire lesson video on arithmetic sequences and one entire lesson video on geometric sequences. I like this lesson because I get to use it whenever I'm trying to determine investments, various stocks that I'm trying to do uh, with what dividends they have, what dividends they're paying, how much they might those dividends might increase in the future. I use uh, these formulas. So we're going to start off with this one. Uh, this is a traditional auditorium. With the tradition, with, with normal auditoriums, uh, the further back you go, the more rows that you have. It's further away from the action, if you will. So they allow, um, they can fit more rows in. So this particular one has 17 seats on the first row, 20 on the second, and 23 on the third. We're trying to determine how many seats there will be on the 31st row. The very first thing we need to do is determine whether this one's an arithmetic or a geometric sequence. The way that we determine that, arithmetic sequences. Um, have a common um, common difference. In other words, we're adding the same number onto each one of those, or subtracting, it doesn't really matter. So this one has 17, we go from 17 to 20, that's a difference of 3. And from 20 to 23, that's a difference of 3. So this one is an arithmetic sequence. Geometric sequences have a common, what they call, ratio. Basically, we're multiplying it by the same factor each time. You know, if it, were, if it went from um, 17 to 34 to 68, then we'd be multiplying each one of them by 2. That would be a geometric, but that's not the case on this one. The reason why it's important to know that it's arithmetic is because we can know which formula to use. We're going to use the generic formula for arithmetic sequences. Well, um, with this one, we need to kind of start plugging in some information that we know. We know the first term of the sequence. That's the first row. It has 17 seats, so the first term of the sequence is going to be 17. The um, other thing that we know is the difference. The difference is 3. We go 17 plus 3 gives me 20, plus 3 gives me 23. All right, so we can plug those in now. I plug in my 17 right here. This is the first term in the sequence, and 3 is the difference. Um, many students like to put parentheses around this all the time. It works perfect. Uh, that way, in case the difference is negative, it makes it really easy. Make sure you can calculate an accurate answer. All right, so let's kind of get rid of those color coding. So we've got this formula here. Now what we can do with this formula is we've got the 31st row is the one we're looking at. So we're going to plug in 30, 31 for n, both of these two n's. So I plug in 31 for both. Now we've got... Um, now if you wanted to, the easiest way to really do this is just take this right hand side and plug that into your calculator. When you plug that into your calculator, it'll spit out an answer for you. It's very nice, very easy to do that. Make sure you include parentheses here and this addition sign as well. Uh, but if not, you can do it by hand as well. 31 minus 1 is 30. Uh, 3 times 30 is 90. 90 plus 17 is 107. So there's going to be 107 seats in that 31st row. All right, now I want you to try one. It's basically the same process as this. So if you need to, you can pause it right here and maybe copy down some answers if you want to or the process if you want to. Um, but we're going to have you try one on the next one. So here is the next uh, sequence here. I'm going to have you push pause on the video. I'd like you to work through this one. See if, you've, see if you can obtain the correct answer, and then after you've obtained an answer, come back and push play and check it. Check your answers. This one, the difference is negative 1, so we need to make sure to use parentheses here. If you did not use parentheses, you might have obtained an incorrect answer. Uh, we know that the first term in the sequence is 21, uh, and it goes down from there, so that's why we have our negative 1. We're looking for the eighth row. How many logs are in the eighth row? The eighth row, we just plug in eight here and then simplify it all the way down. Um, hopefully you got that one okay. Now let's look at another one here. Okay, this one, we're having a pool party, and it's in April. In April, depending on where you live, the water can be a little chilly. So the current temperature of the water is 73, 73 degrees. So you decide to turn on your pool heater. And the heater increases the water temperature, but it doesn't do it all at once. It increases the water temperature by 10% every hour. Okay, so the first hour, it's uh, going to go up 10%. The next hour, um, uh, it will go up 10% over the previous hour. Uh, what would the temperature of the pool be at the beginning of the fourth hour? Well, first thing we need to do here, again, is we need to determine whether this one's an arithmetic or a geometric sequence. Remember that arithmetic sequences have a common difference. We keep adding the exact same number on every time. Well, that would be true if we said that it was going to increase by 8 degrees every time. 
every hour. But that's not what this one says. It's 10 degrees um, every hour. So the first hour, it's 73. The next hour, we're going to add 10% to that. The next hour after that, we're going to add 10% onto whatever the previous hour was. So this one's actually a geometric sequence. All right, well, we're going to bring in our formula for geometric sequences here and start plugging in some information that we know. We know what the um, A of 1, the first term in the sequence is 73, okay? That's what we started with. That was the temperature of the pool when we started. R is a little bit tricky on this one. It's 10% more than the previous one. Uh, so in other words, it's 110% of the previous amount. So R in this case would be 1.1. We're just converting this 110% to a decimal form is really all we're doing. Okay, so let's plug that in. We've got 73 times 1.1. There we go. And this is all raised to the n minus 1. Now that we know that, we're asked to find the pool, uh, the temperature of the pool beginning of the fourth hour. So we plug in 4 for n. And we have an n right here and an n up top here too. We just plug in 4. Uh, and the easiest way, again, is it going to be just to plug it into your calculator. You'll be okay with that. Otherwise, it would just be 1.1 to the third power. Uh, if you're doing this one by hand, make sure order of operations tells us we have to do exponents first, then multiplication. So we need to do the 1.1 times, or excuse me, 1.1 cubed first. So we do that first, uh, and then we multiply that by 73. We come up with 97.163. That's very warm. Uh, that pool would be plenty warm for that. Um, all right, now I want you to get a little more practice on these. Here is one. Um, I'd like you to go through this. It's a little bit different because it's set up in such a way that the um, the table is given to you instead of just the numbers. But I could have given you just the numbers and you could do the same thing. So uh, I'd like you to push pause on the video now. Work through, obtain your answer. After you've obtained your answer, come back and push play. Check your answers here. Okay, so this one uh, was definitely a geometric sequence. We went it went down by 5 the first time and then 4.75 the next time. So that's, that clued us in that it's not arithmetic. And if you look at this, the way we find a geometric sequence is we take one term and divide it by its previous term. So we got 95 divided by 100. That gave me 0.95. So it's 95% of the previous amount. Your answer on this one should have been uh, 73.51. Okay. Um, you can add labels on there if you'd like to. Uh, but uh, when you're doing it on the online system, do not add any labels at all. Let's give you a little bit more practice here. We're talking about Corvette. This is my favorite car, so um, we thought we'd give it a little shout out. But go ahead and try this one. Push pause on the video now. After you've obtained your answer, come back and push play. Check your answers here. This one took a lot of work to get to. Um, but it's not, uh, it's not so bad. If you, um, if you did not solve it for A of 1, you did not have to, actually. Um, but that was a lot of times the easiest way. Uh, you could have used a different method instead of using the A of 1. You could have plugged in A of 4 here if you wanted to, and that would have worked as well. Uh, but either way, you should have obtained the answer of 6215. This one is an arithmetic sequence. You can tell that by we look right here. We have a, a, a difference here. Looks like we're going up by uh, about 400 each time. You'll see that the common difference is 400. All right, let's give you a little more practice here. Uh, go ahead and push pause on the video now. Then work through this solution. After you find your solution, come back and push play. Check your answers now. This one does not tell us what rate it grows at other than it doubles. And doubles means that we're multiplying it by 2. So the ratio is, the common ratio is going to be positive 2. And whenever, again, whenever you enter this one into the online system, do not put labels on it. Just write the number. It's fine. You don't even need the comma as well. Just leave that off. All right, I'd like you to attempt this one, if you will. Uh, push pause on the video now. After you've obtained your answer, come back and push play. Check your answer. Hopefully you got uh, 142. That's how many minutes that she'll be spending on the 18th day. That's quite a bit of time spending, but if she's increasing by six minutes every single day, uh, it adds up very, very quickly. So um, th this one was an arithmetic sequence because we're increasing by the exact same amount each day, six minutes every single day. 